Hello everybody. Today we are talking about microcurrent. What is it? What does it do for your skin? And how do you incorporate it into your weekly routine? So I'm gonna let you guys start coming on. I have another giveaway. Hello, hi, hi, hi. I'm on the move again, you guys. I'm at my dad's house. My dad and my stepmom's house. Hi everybody, hi everybody. Today is about microcurrent. Why do you need it? We don't need anything. So let me just rephrase that. What is it? What does it do for your skin? And if you feel like you would like it, how, does it how do you incorporate it into your weekly routine? So we have a different ba backdrop today because I'm at my dad's house, but that's what we're gonna talk about. Hi everybody, I have a winner from last week. So last week I did two shows. I did my top at home anti-cellulite treatments. Um, you have to pardon my skin because traveling does not, is not, my skin's not happy when I travel. Um, so last week I did the at home anti-cellulite treatments. And so I have a winner for that. And that was the exfoliation mitt with the um, perfect derma exfoliating lotion. And that winner is um, ESIMS55. So I will contact you and I will get that in the mail. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to be microneedling my eyes, again on a live, 11 a.m. And somebody will, make, will be winning one of these solar uh, kind of body cover things. So this is like a crop top that goes for your neck. I wear this in the car, I love it. And Skin V is giving away one of these to a lucky winner that I'm gonna to announce tomorrow. So today's winner that already has that exfoliation mat with the um, with that Perfect Derma exfoliating body cleanser, I mean body lotion, that's ESIMS55. Hi everybody, hi, hi, hi. Okay, we're talking about microcurrent today. And if you haven't already received my skincare protocol, this is how I fit in all of these kind of devices in a weekly schedule because the best at home skincare device for you is gonna be the one that you actually use, right? Don't let these devices collect dust in a drawer because that's just a total waste of money. And also don't buy anything that's crap, which I'm gonna help you decide because you're also wasting your money. So we need to make sure that we're using it. So if you have not received this, the easiest way to do this, to get this protocol, is to sign up for the newsletter. And the newsletter link is in my linked tree. So after I'm done here, you can go to the link tree and click on that. You sign up for the newsletter. Yes, I have permanent eyeliner on. One of the best things I've ever done. I'll, talk, I'll tell you about that, that in a second. Um, but yeah, this is no makeup. I have a little bit of mascara on and a little bit of lip color because my lip color is like, I don't know. Sometimes it just looks faded. I think it depends on like what's going on, how much sleep and all that. So I have a little lip color and I have a little bit of mascara and that's it. So that I'm on a clean face. You know what, you guys, I, I've never been so clean face and, and no makeup in all of my videos than when I'm doing these lives. So tomorrow, again, it's no makeup and I'm gonna be microneedling around my eyes until the machine dies out because I didn't bring the, the charger, which is kind of funny, um, but it, it works. So I'm gonna start with my eyes tomorrow and we're gonna see how far we get. Again, same time, 11 a.m. Okay, so to get this protocol, you either DM me the word protocol, you can't have a private account because if you have a private account, I can't send you the link. But the easiest way is just sign up for the weekly newsletter. It's once a week and it basically gives you an outline of the, uh, the, that, I think it's like, I'm probably two weeks behind. So it'll give you the outline of the live a couple of weeks ago with all clickable links. It, so that way you guys aren't having to frantically take notes. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys. Okay, so that's the best way to get the skincare protocol. Sign up for the newsletter, links in the link tree. Check your spam, because anytime when you guys ask me for something, if it's an automated system, which that one's an automated system, it's usually gonna go into your spam. So just make sure that you check your spam and you'll get this protocol. And this is how I fit in every single day of what I'm doing. It's not a lot of work, you guys. If you guys can spend 30 minutes in the gym, 
you can spend 20 minutes a day taking care of your skin because your skin is your largest organ. So as a healthy aging coach and as a gerontologist, I often get the question, why do you focus on skin? Well, I get you guys in the door with the skin and then we change your diet, right? We change your sleeping, we change your stress management. We, we work on those kind of things to expand that health span and get you living not only your longest life, but expanding that health span so that you're free of disease and disability and all of that stuff and still looking and feeling great. You can tell a lot about a person's skin. When I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, I can tell like what's in their diet, what is going on with your diet. It shines through your skin if, you're proper, if you have proper nutrition, if you're using superfoods, if you're using collagen, best collagen in, in the world. So if you guys are interested in that collagen, I always, whenever I do any at-home devices, because we're tricking our body into producing collagen, you need to make sure that you're using a hydrolyzed collagen, not a powder collagen, a hydrolyzed collagen, um, because then you want those precursors available to come to that aid when you're creating these little micro traumas, whether it's through microcurrent or it's radio frequency or it's microneedling, you need those precursors to help build that back up. And when you build it back up, you're looking at brighter skin, more youthful skin, more youthful behaving skin. And that's what we're doing. So just like I trick my body into behaving like it did me metabolically when it was younger, I'm also tricking my skin into behaving like it was when it was younger. And one of those ways is through microcurrent. So I'm gonna first just tell you about microcurrent. What is it? What is it doing to your skin? And do I feel like, you know, people ask me a lot, like if you could choose one at-home device, what would it be? It wouldn't be microcurrent. I'm just gonna tell you right now. It wouldn't be microcurrent, but microcurrent is important. So collagen, so powder collagen is not recommended. I, I just based on the research that I've done, and being in school at USC, I mean, literally one of my professors talked about hydrolyzed collagen. You need a hydrolyzed collagen because the molecular structure of collagen is too big. Your body cannot absorb it. You're paying money for it to just whoosh, pass right through you, okay? So you need a hydrolyzed collagen. You can't really get that in a powder. Powders are somewhere between 10 and 50% absorption. A hydrolyzed collagen, if it's in the right molecular structure, is about 95% absorption rate, but it doesn't work the way that you think it is. You can't just drink collagen and think it's gonna go to your face, right? It's still going through your digestive tract. You still have to digest it. And when you're digesting it, what they have found in third-party testing, this is not testing done by a company, the, the company, which most collagen companies, when they give you all of this before and after, it's within their company that they're paying to have these um, tests done. So if, you're, if the company is paying for it, how reliable do you think that that test is? This is a company that I found that they have third-party testing that is completely not in the same, not associated with the company at all. And a lot of the powdered collagen companies actually call on this company's research and, and state this company's research. So these are people that are doing it good. I don't want you guys to spend, um, I don't want you guys to spend money on collagen that's just not, your body's not utilizing the way that it's supposed to. I'm getting so many questions and I, I, I really want to, um, is it said that 10 grams is right for powdered collagen per day? So does that mean my body is not absorbing it even after it's within the recommended dosage? Possibly. I'm sorry, but quite possibly. Yes. Are you getting a little bit of it? You probably are 10 to 50%, but is it the most effective and efficient type of call? No, this is not cow's collagen. This is chicken cartilage. So for all of you vegans out there, I apologize, but there's no such thing as a vegan um, collagen. It doesn't exist. This is from the cartilage which is that connective tissue, which is what collagen is made of. It's the connective tissue. This one uses chicken cartilage. Okay, taste doesn't taste like chicken, you guys. It tastes like juice. It's really, really good. And in fact, I, I am so dependent on this when I do these kind of treatments that I travel with this. So I traveled with an unopened one so that I can drink this while I'm here after this treatment and after I do my microneedling tomorrow because I want to make sure I have all those precursors. And then I am put this in a bag of ice and bring it home because you need to refrigerate it after, afterwards. Okay, sorry I got on a tangent about collagen. We're talking about microcurrent. So what does microcurrent do? It basically is, it's low level electricity. 
I'm from Los Angeles. I'm actually from where I am right now. I grew up in a little town called Merced, which is about an hour away from my dad. I'm a farm girl at heart. My dad always corrects me and says I'm a ranch girl because we had cows and horses. But anyways, <laughs> um, so that's where I'm from. And I moved to the big city of Los Angeles when I was about 21 years old and never looked back. And then I moved to Singapore and Shanghai. I lived there for six years um, in Singapore, married to my first husband um, and came back and I've been in LA ever since. So my whole family is still in the Central Valley. That's why I'm, I'm here often, but that's my, that's my background. Okay, um, do I believe RF devices are worth it? Absolutely, absolutely. If you had to choose, you guys, I'm talking microcurrent today, but if you had to choose between a radio frequency device and a microcurrent device and you could only afford one, do the radio frequency. Do the radio frequency. How much do you drink of it and how many days a week? This is one tablespoon in the morning, one tablespoon at night, every single day. But when I'm doing these types of treatments that are tricking my body into producing collagen, so it's degradating that collagen a little bit, it's downgrading the collagen, the existing collagen a little bit, you need the precursors to go ahead and, and come to that rescue and make that collagen. I kind of equate it to where if you're just kicking ass in the gym, and you're lifting really heavy, you kind of want to eat within an hour and usually a little bit of protein. Don't get me started on high protein, but you usually want to eat a little bit of protein so that you can rebuild that. It's the same thing when you're talking about collagen. If you're using a device that is known to stimulate that collagen, to stimulate the collagen, it's got to, it's got to downgrade it a little bit to build it back better. And when you do that, you want to make sure that you, you've got all the precursors. It's just like food food for your skin. Okay. I'm going to keep going. So what you're doing when you're doing microcurrent is you're, you're literally adding little currents of electricity into your skin. Now, what does that do? And why is that, um, why I'm getting all these questions and I'm dying to answer them. Let me just get through my little spiel here. And while I'm doing the demo, I'm going to scroll back up and answer the questions. So I mean, a lot of questions about radio frequency, but and radio frequency is like ridiculously effective. I love this device. The reason why I brought this device into a microcurrent uh, live is because this also has electro muscle stimulation, which that's what this is. Microcurrent is electro muscle stimulation. So you're doing small bouts of small little um, amounts of electric current that passes between the two probes, okay? So this is a two lobe system. This is the zip. This is a two lobe system. This is the Myolift QT. It's a two lobe system. The new face, two lobe system. That means it's on one device and it's got two lobes. And the idea is to press the skin. And so between these two, these two lobes, you're having a small electrical current in between here, okay? This, on the other hand, this is the Myolift Mini. I'm, I would never tell you guys to throw away your new face, although I did a side-by-side -side on the new face and the Myolift Mini on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you do that. But I did a side-by-side, -side, and the difference between these is drastic. It's dramatic. This is a much better system. Um, and it's actually not any more expensive than this. It does take a little bit of finagling to get used to this. The reason why this is better, um, again, this is the Myolift Mini. It's in my, you guys, this is, if you're looking for devices that I've talked about, if you go in that linked tree, I try to make it super easy for you. If you go in that linked tree, you'll see an Amazon icon. Look in my favorites first before you go to Amazon, because if it's in my favorites, I usually have a discount code for you. So you look in Darnell's favorites, um, click on that. You'll see a lot. You'll see the collagen in there. You'll see this in here. You'll see the even skin um, Lumo in there. You'll see products where I can try to get you a discount. But if you don't see it in there, you click on the Amazon icon. It takes you straight to the Amazon store. You click on skincare and almost everything that I talk about is going to be in there. So even like this, this is by Medicube. 
This is in my Amazon store because I am lazy and I didn't reach out to the company first and get you guys a discount. I'm sorry. I'll work on this one though. I'll work on a discount for this one, but this one is in my Amazon store. So before I start this, let's just talk about what are the benefits? What are the benefits of, of putting electri electricity into your skin? What are those benefits? This works as a muscle stimulator. So I know I'm waiting for this question to come up. Does it affect Botox? I, I know it's going to come up. Um, anytime that you are stimulating muscle, you're contracting that muscle. This actually w helps your skin on a cellular level because it's hitting that mitochondria. It's producing ATP. And as we age, ATP is declining, just like collagen and elastin. ATP, the energy of the cell declines. So when you're adding low levels of electricity into your skin with a pinch and hold technique, this is a pinch and hold technique, you're gonna get a better result than a press and hold technique. Two lobe system is a press and hold, press and hold, press and hold. This is a pinch and hold because you can keep a stationary probe and pinch. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can. You can see how much meat I can get in there. That electrical current is going to pass between those two probes. Now let's look at something like this. You're not looking at the same exact amount of, of flesh that's in here, right? It, it is working. You guys, don't throw these away. These devices are expensive. Get them out of your drawers and use them, okay? There's a reason why I have all of these. They come in handy on different purposes. If this one, if I don't have time to do a full treatment on this MyoLift Mini, I will oftentimes grab my new face and do like a 10-minute thing. Oh, let me just work on my jowls a little bit, right? I'll oftentimes use this one. This is the MyoLift QT that has an app. So I can go through a whole treatment program with the app. I also have a discount on this one for you guys. So these two are in my linked tree under Darnell's favorites, um, which was this one, right? The MyoLift. This is on my Amazon store. This is on my Amazon store. I wanna tell you about this one though, because of all of the press and hold uh, devices, this one is awesome. Okay, there's a few that are like, I don't get it. I don't get the zip. What? I don't, I don't really see that this is doing the same thing as something like this. It feels very light. It's very plasticky. I know there's a, there are a lot of people that love this. They love the zip. I get it. But do I feel like this is the most effective thing? No. What do you think about the Foreo microcurrent devices? It's the same thing. I think they're like the little, they're the press and hold ones. I don't necessarily think it's better than the new face. If you, ha if you have a new face, don't buy another. You guys don't have to buy another thing. If you're like me and you're obsessed with this kind of stuff <laughs> and you're like a go big and go home kind of person, this is the one you want, okay? I'm just saying. If you did not see that YouTube video I did on a side-by-side -side comparison between this and this, you really, wanna, you really wanna check that out. It doesn't mean I don't like this machine. This is very effective. You guys just got to get it out of the drawer and use it. What do you think about silicone face pads? I love silicone pads for my chest because I'm a side sleeper. In fact, they're in there. I, I do not go to sleep without a silicone pad on my chest because when I turn on my side, I'm getting all of these little wrinkles that when I wake up in the morning, they're physical lines that it then takes hours to kind of like let the let them lymphatically drain, and then they go back to normal. Um, what do you, I know the NUA is RF. What do you think of it? I think that if you're gonna, if you already have the NUA, great, get it out of the drawer and use it and, and follow the protocol because you do, anytime that you, a device, a, a radio frequency device said that, says that you can use it every day, to me, that's a shit device. Not a shit device. That's not fair for me to say. That's a device. Anytime a, dev a radio frequency device says, use it every day, I don't think it's a very strong device. This one by Even Skin, you use it once a week. If you're under 40, you use it twice a week. If you're over 50, 
And the reason is because you can overdo radio frequency. Great question. You cannot overdo microcurrent. Look at that. So if a radio frequency device says use this every day, it is not a high level radio frequency device that is really getting that temperature to 40 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. That's the optimal temperature that a radio frequency device will degrade your collagen and then build it up. So when that collagen is, is degraded, I think that's the word I'm trying to say. I'm a little bit tired here. But when that collagen is downgraded, it needs time and collagen, but it needs time to repair and restructure. You don't want to make that all, you know, just kind of mess up with it and then go right back over the top with radio frequency. So if a radio frequency device says use it every day, I'm skeptical because I don't think that it's a really strong device. This one is, this is a once a week or twice a week and it's all on the protocol. Um, but in terms of microcurrent, when you're doing microcurrent, you can do microcurrent every single day. There's nothing that's going to hurt you with doing this every single day, but it will wear your Botox off. So if you're, if, when I do microcurrent devices, I tend to use, I use these, this one as much as I can. It's on my once a week schedule. So if I'm looking at my schedule, I'm microcurrent, I'm doing microcurrent every Friday. And following microcurrent, um, I'm doing the same thing because this is not ablative. Microcurrent is not ablative. You still keep your same skincare that you normally would have. Okay, but on Thursday night, the night before, um, I'm doing my microcurrent. I'm doing a chemical peel. So it's all on here. There is method to this madness, you guys. I've been doing this a long time. The way that you can consistently get your devices out of your drawer and use them is to put them on a weekly schedule. So with microcurrent, yes, you can use it every single day. It's not going to hurt you. It's getting into that ATP. It's making the ATP, uh, it's making the mitochondria produce that ATP. It's energizing the cell. Now they do say that it helps to, um, it helps to stimulate collagen and elastin. I don't think it's the most effective way to stimulate collagen and elastin, but it does. Do they in microneedling affect Botox? Microneedling does not affect Botox at all. Radio frequency does not affect Botox. The only thing that affects Botox is when you're stimulating muscle. So when you're on this one, on the EMS mode, stimulating muscle, that's affecting your Botox. I don't normally try to do this up here, right? Yes, you need a conductive gel, I'll get into that. I don't really, I don't do an EMS mode normally up here. Sometimes I'll do it on my, on just on my occipital bone, but right below my eyebrow, so that it can work on the crepey skin of the eyelid. But I would not do an a, a microcurrent right between the eyebrows unless you're somebody who doesn't do Botox. So I'm gonna get into, I wanna at least get a treatment in. I have these little silicone cups, which I love. They're on my Amazon store. I'm gonna use this one, which is by Medicube. Um, this is the HR. It, you know, any hyaluronic acid will work. Uh, not hyaluronic acid, sorry. Any conductive gel will work. This is by New Face. I brought that as well. Um, and this is this one is by the Medicube. So I'm gonna use this one today. I'm just squirting it in my little container here. Microcurrent, you need to have a conductive gel. Now, with when I'm doing um, microneedling, I'm going I usually use a hyaluronic acid because you're just creating a slip. This will work as a conductive gel, but it gets dried out. When you're using like the microcurrent, you really need that conductive gel. It's way more important. Oh, thank you so much. Um, ooh, thank you so much. Okay, so so when you're doing this, you really need to make sure you're doing a really good conductive gel. And that's another reason why I love this MyoLift because when, when I turn it on, you'll be able to see there's a, let's see if I can run it. You see this line right here that's blinking? That means I don't have conductivity. Now I'll show you this, I'll try to show you this line again once I start with the treatment and you can see that it will be, that it will be solid. And sometimes when you're working with the press and hold kind of devices, like the Med Cube, like the New Face, like the MyoLift QT, um, it's, you can't tell if you're getting conductivity. You just don't know, you're guessing. 
right? So with those kind of, with the device like this one, I know if I'm getting conductivity and that's why I do it. So if you're just starting out, you've never done microcurrent before, you can start doing it every day. And then after you've got a couple weeks under your belt, you can go down to once a week. So I only do microcurrent on Friday. I'm showing you guys here, but plus I was traveling yesterday, so I didn't get to do it. That's why I decided I'm going to do, the, I'm going to do my Instagram live on microcurrent because I didn't get to give myself my treatment um, yesterday. So it's a little selfish on my part. Okay. Um, but that's what it is. So you could do microcurrent once a week. Do I feel like you need all of these kind of devices? Nobody needs anything. It depends on what your goals are. These are my goals. This is how I want to age. I trick my body on the inside, behaving like it's younger, right? Your skin is your largest organ. That's why I concentrated on it as well as a gerontologist. But not only is your skin your largest organ, it's the organ that's connected with your self-esteem, right? If you've ever had a bad hair day, you know what I'm talking about. It changes what you do in the day. So when you start aging and you start seeing those lines on your face, I'm not saying compare yourself to your neighbor. That's a big no-no. But if you're doing everything in your power to look and feel your best at every age, there's a lot of power in there. There's a lot of self-esteem in there that changes what you do with your day, right? It does. If you've got a big, you know, if you've just not done anything for your skin and, and you've not done anything for your metabolic health, you're not exercising, you're way more likely to sit down on the couch with a bag of, bag of Doritos and binge, binge watch Netflix. That's just how we are. You feel good about yourself, not only about what you're doing internally for your health, but what you're doing on the out, outside for your skin. It changes what you do for the day. So I do both. It doesn't take a lot of time. I know I talk about it a lot, but it's literally like 20 minutes a day, maybe 20, to, 20 minutes to an hour a day of exercise, 20 minutes to 30 minutes on my skin. There's two questions in here. I've never done that. Can we be best friends? Yay! I love that. Such a great question. Of course we can. Of course we can. Okay, this channel is open to everybody. Hey, and by the way, you guys, for those of you who kind of stood up to this, the uh, interesting person, I would say, who decided to criticize something that I posted. Um, oh, I know what it was. Somebody said... You could, your, your eyes can give it away. You can always tell your, your age by your eyes. You look your age, which I didn't take as an insult at all because I'm 55 and I'm loving, loving 55, loving it. Wouldn't go back if you paid me a million dollars. Um, so I love my age, but it was a weird comment from a doctor, right? With no picture and, and, and my little group of, of supporters just stood up and had my back so much that it was just so touching and heartwarming and i thank you guys so much because this channel is not about negativity it's about accepting yourself exactly how you are with the little footnote of what are you doing for this one body this one face this one health span that you have that you're given you only get one chance at this you guys you get one chance so you can either sit on the sidelines and just let everything age naturally, which is a valid point, and I'm here to support you 100%. But you can also look at your skin and treat it like you would your heart or your lungs or your joints. It's important. It is our largest organ. So it's inside out healthy aging. It's also outside in. This is the outside in, you guys. This is the outside in but it makes you feel better. It does. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a little bit. Let me tell you first before I, I do that, of all of these devices, um, my second choice is this one. This is my second choice. Have you had any work done? I haven't done anything to my eyes. Um, I had my neck done before my, my 50th birthday, um, before I got married, because I genetically, I had, I, didn't, I had like a big muscle here, so they shaved the muscle down. I have Botox, I don't have any filler, I have fat transfer to the cheeks. We've gone over this before. There's a whole um, live that I did on Ask Me Anything and What Have I Done, and I, I went through everything. There's also a method to what, a reason and a method to the madness of why I do what I do when I do it, right? If you know you have an impending surgery coming up and you're putting it off and you're putting it off and you're putting it off, and you know you're gonna do it, 
Let's say, for example, foot surgery. I knew I had to have foot surgery because I had have issues with my feet. Um, and I knew that if, if I do it after I turn 50, my healing rate changes. That's in the science, you guys. Your healing rate changes as you get older. So if there's something impending that you know you have to do, do it while you're younger. You have a better chance of recovering uh, in, a, in a more speedy way. Okay, this is my second favorite. I love this one because it is amazing. It feels like the best massage you could possibly get. Um, and it's doing microcurrent. So if I put this on my face now that I have this, oh, look, you'll be able to see this. Look, do this. Oh my God, let's get a close up of that. That's hilarious. Look, that's stimulating your muscle. That's what we're doing. So when we're doing this, we're hitting the mitochondria. We're stimulating that mitochondria to produce mo more ATP, right? When we're doing that, it's energizing the cell. It helps with cell turnover because you're waking up the cells from underneath, right? In the dermis, you're waking those cells up. This, to me, now watch the new face. If I can get it to turn on. Oh, I have no battery. See, this is what happens. Sometimes I'll like, I'll go to reach for a device and it won't have battery and I'll grab the other one. So I don't throw any of these things away. They're still useful. They still work. But if you don't have a device, you want to add something that's more effective. This one by MedCube is more effective. It's on my Amazon store. You can see. New Face doesn't do this. Now, you're doing electric stimulate. Oh, my God. I don't think I can talk like this. You're doing electric stimulation. Um, but it's also, it's contracting the muscle. So it's a workout for the face. The reason why I like this one by MedCube is the spacing of the two probes, two lobes. This is a two lobe system, is much wider, much wider. So you're getting more skin in here, right? It's, it's ergonomically better because you can get around your jaw. And this is super important for skin tightening here, right? We're defining that jaw. Now, another thing that microcurrent does uh, will hurt um, with metal braces. I wouldn't use this with braces, you guys, because sometimes you can even feel this a little bit in your teeth. If you had metal in your mouth, you don't want to use this. You don't want to use this if you're, uh, why are you shaking? Am I shaking? I don't think so. Um, if you are, if you're using this, you don't want to have a pacemaker. You don't want braces, anything like that but it's a low level electric current. So we're not talking about something that's gonna shock the heck out of you. Hi, hi, India. Didn't New Face come out with a newer, stronger device? I don't have that one, but they have a, a New Face Mini that I feel like is a, just as strong, if not a little bit stronger than this. So maybe that's what you're, what you're talking about. Um, but still, I don't think you're gonna, you're not gonna get, this this is to me one of the stronger devices and i love this as well because of the spacing again between the two lobes it, this one has a body mode so you can put it on the body if i can get it over there oh wait, that's up 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 sorry oh my god okay there so it's on the body mode and it's going up so i would put a little conductive gel here See, there's no way I get this from a new face. I'm telling you, you guys, you can feel it. You can feel it pulsating. It has a little ionic pulse in there. Um, and you can feel the, the little microcurrents. I can't hardly feel that with the new face when we're talking about the body. Now, the new face did come up with a body one. Oops, got a little blonde hair on there. The new face did come up with the body one. So... We, I can, I can show you guys, but I don't, I just, this is not, I can't, I can feel this working. Okay. I can feel it working. I can feel the electric pulses. It does not compare in my opinion to how this one can grip your skin because of the way that these rolling devices are. This one doesn't roll. These are stationary. This one rolls. And, oh, see, look, it just went, you see that little twitch there? See, that's from this device. 
This is muscle stimulation is what it's doing. So it lymphatically drains. So we're looking at lymphatic drainage here. We're looking at stimulating the ATP to really, um, ugh, I have this on the highest setting. I probably should go down to like, not the, not the highest setting while I'm doing this. Um, I turn this back to the slim. The way that I love this because it just kind of pulls your skin up there. So just like the this kind of two probe system, this is one that I have found that um, is very similar to the result that I will get with this. So I'm gonna turn this off for a second and I'm gonna show you why this is my favorite. Okay, I, I have people asking questions and Oh, thank you so much. There was, let me know if there's, if I don't get to a question, um, I don't mind you guys throwing it back up at the top again, because I'm going to, I'm about to use, start using two hands and it's going to be really hard for me to scroll back. And as I see the questions, I can, I can try to start answering them. Okay. So just apologize. I apologize. Where can I buy it? Okay. So the, this MedCube one is on my Amazon store. So if you go to the linked tree after this is all done, go to the linked tree and you'll, you'll click on the little Amazon icon. New face is also in there, but if you had to choose between the two lobe systems, I'd get this one. Um, and this one, the MyoLift mini is in Darnell's favorite. So again, on the linked tree, Products where I feel like where I can get you a discount. This is one of those products. They're on the linked tree under Darnell's favorites. If you don't see them there, then your second choice is you click on that Amazon store and everything that I talk about is in that Amazon store if it's not in Darnell's favorites where I can get you a discount. Let me turn this off. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to tell you the, the drawing. So we know who won last week. Last week was ESIMS55. And that was the body mitt exfoliator along with the Perfect Derma um, exfoliating body cream. Honestly, I love that. Up for grabs today are these collagen around the eye. They're, they're mass around the eye. Now collagen, again, molecular structure is too big to enter the eye. But the way that they have it is it's hyaluronic acid with a collagen molecule. I don't know why they, I think they're just using the buzzword, but it does help to moisten the eye, okay? So you get a whole pack of these and there's a ton of them in there. The first way to do it is you click on that little arrow, the send button right there in the corner and you invite three people. And then when I post it to my site, you tag three more people, your name will be in the drawing. Tomorrow for my Instagram Live, when I'm microneedling around my eyes, Somebody is going to be announced that wins these UV by Skin V, these UV crop tops that are like, um, they're like a turtleneck crop top that, cause you know, you don't want sun here. You guys don't want sun here. And this, even when you wear a hat, this part's not protected. So in the summer, if you're wearing a tank top, these kind of things are great. So the winner for this is going to be announced tomorrow. They'll send it to you in your size. It comes in rose and cream and black. You can pick your color. And for those of you who are on my in my Instagram club through subscriptions, I'm picking a second winner directly from that, that club. So if you haven't subscribed, you just, oh, you can click on the little, I think I added subscriptions here. You can click on the little subscriptions. It's $4.99 a month. And I, I'll have a lot of demos. So my demo, my thing that I'm doing tomorrow, which is the micro needling around the knees. Uh, can you believe I just said that? <laughs> micro needling around the eyes. Hello. Um, I did micro needling around the, uh, on my knees a couple weeks ago, but I'm micro needling around my eyes tomorrow at 11. And that whole live will go s directly to the subscription club, which is only $4.99 a month. So you'll at least get four demos a month in there, which is like $1.25 each. I mean, if you don't think an hour long demo on, on microneedling is worth it four times a month, you know, but anyways, join if you want, ask your questions and then jump off. Okay. So we're going to do this. I I'm covered with this conductive gel. I'm going to do this on educate mode. So I'm doing an educate two cause go big or go home. I'm putting the intensity all the way up to 400. You guys, I hope you guys can see that. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it's not conducting anything because it's blinking. So now I'm going to show you what happens when I put the probes on my skin. 
You see how the line is solid? That means there's electricity going between these two. That's why I love this machine. It doesn't mean the others aren't great, but that's why I love this machine. So if you are, you're so fit for being 50, because it's not just, it's not healthy aging from the outside. It's not just anti-aging skincare. It's healthy aging. It's sleeping. It's grounding. It's meditating. It's all of those things. It's exercising. Um, it's what you put in your body. It's supplements. So um, if you have not booked a one-on-one -on -one with me, if you think you're learning something from these lies, wait till I get my hands on you one-on-one -on -one. because people come in for the skincare and I get them to change their diet and their exercise and their sleep and their stress. And that it's those combinations, combinations of everything that help you expand that health span. And that's when you start looking great. Health shines from the inside out, folks. I know I do a lot on skincare, but health shines from the inside out. This is all just frosting. It's really fun frosting and it does make a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna do a pinch and hold technique. I'm getting the probe right here and I'm, gonna, I'm working on my jowls right now. So I have conductivity. I'm gonna leave it there for about six seconds or so. And I'm gonna lift this up and pinch. How much is a one-on-one? -on -one? I'm 249 an hour. I know, but there's a lot of education that goes into what I do. Um, that said, I can do a lot of work in an hour. You guys would be shocked what I can get in an hour because not only are we on Zoom for an hour where we can do these types of treatments one-on-one, -on -one, but then I send you a protocol, your own personal protocol in the, in the email right afterwards that summarizes everything that we did, summarizes all the settings, works with your diet, hormones, all of it. Like it's, I'm a one-stop shop, you guys. <laughs> I'm a holistic nutrition and health coach, but I'm also a gerontologist. Um, I'm also a healthy aging coach. I'm a yoga instructor. There's a lot that goes into what I, what I do. And so when you book a one-on-one, -on -one, there's a lot of things that we can talk about. Metabolic health, getting you down to your optimal healthy weight, which is different for everybody. It's not the time to cheat off your neighbor's papers, right? How is your body functioning? How do you get your body functioning like it did when it was in its 20s? That's what we're doing with this. We're stimulating collagen. We're lymphatically draining. We're, we're stimulating that ATP. But you do that with everything. With what are you eating? How do you trick your body through exercise to behave like it did when it was, when it was in its 20s? You gotta start lifting weights. It's all connected, you guys. It's so connected. The, the human body is quite amazing. That is my price for one-on-one. -on -one. I'm 249 an hour. That said, you can do one session and, and that's it. And you'll now know how to like microneedle or you'll now know, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong with my diet. Or what do you think about these devices that I have? We'll go through all of it. Go through all of your skincare. I can get a lot done, but I did offer the 499 a month because a lot of people can't afford 249 a, a, a session. And I want to be available to everybody. So I try to answer every question, you guys. I really do. But my DMs sometimes, I'll, I'll be off Instagram for a second and I'll go back to my DMs and I've got 500 messages and everybody just wants one question answered. So it's hard. I do my best and I'll answer the one question and then I'll send you the thing that says club. You know, how do you join the club for 499? Ask away, just ask all the questions you want in that club and then unsubscribe. You've got a zillion questions answered for $4.99. If you don't think it's worth it, unsubscribe after that, right? So I'm trying to look at everybody's price point and give you guys personalized coaching, either one-on-one -on -one or in a group session, um, so that it's available to everybody. You know, I, I'm not here to like tell you, you have to buy this machine. This is where I make a little bit of a percentage. I do, but my gosh, if you've got this machine, don't use it and you're not using it. Use it first, use it. Let's see if you can get your current device done, you know, consistently. If you can get your current microcurrent device, little play on words there. If you can get your current microcurrent device done consistently, then we can talk about, is it worth it for you to spend the extra money? But if you know you're not consistent with your skincare, don't waste your money. Okay. Kind of went on a tangent there. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna work on my jowls now. If I my Botox is is pretty much gone, and I'll show you guys. Look, this is Botox done since I was 30, 
That's as much as my, eye, my eyes go together. That's Botox done since I was 30 in a preventative way. I'm shooting a segment on Botox. Oh, this enlarged pores keeps coming around and I wanna like get to it. It seems to enlarge my pores and make my makeup look worse around my mouth. When you're doing microcurrent, is that what you're saying? When you're doing microcurrent, it enlarges your pores? That's very interesting. It makes me think like, are you doing retinoids? Like you guys, it's, it's not just like a one and done here. You can't just buy one device and think you're gonna be doing things optimally. That's why I came up with this. So if I were to tell you like the four main, let's see, is it four? Microneedling, big game changer, microneedling. Um, microcurrent, again, it's work, it, it is working. It is, it is doing the, the muscle and the recontouring of the face, super important. Radio frequency, radio frequency is amazing that they have come up with powerful machines to do at home. Absolutely, I would do this. Red light therapy is like on a cellular level. Those four things, microcurrent, radio fre frequency, microneedling, red light therapy. If you could add those things and make sure that you're doing retinoids at night and vitamin C's in the morning, you're doing great. I mean, that's when you're like, I'm doing pretty much everything I can do to look and feel my best. Now, if you're doing Botox though, guess what happens when you do Botox uh, and then you're stimulating the muscle. You're, you're decreasing the efficiency of your Botox, right? Because Botox paralyzes that muscle. So if you're stimulating it, you're wearing your Botox off quicker. So I will oftentimes wait until my Botox is, I'm, I'm, you know what, we're going to get up close and personal, you guys. My Botox is worn off. See? This is my Botox worn off. See my bands? That's my Botox worn off. I purposely did that because I'm filming something on Wednesday with Dr. Yamini on Botox. And I wanted to show you guys exactly where I put Botox. A lot more of it goes in my neck than what you would think because I get these bands. So I do Botox here. I do Botox on the bunny lines, around the eyes, and here. So you don't wanna do microcurrent in those areas. So if you're doing microcurrent at home, and you're somebody that has Botox, you wanna concentrate on the jowls and around the mouth and lifting that up. So that's what I do. I'm educating this part, right? Current's going in between there. I'm coming right along that jaw. And I can feel the little electrical current, but I can look down and I know that I've got, I have conductivity. I'm just gonna add a little bit more time here. I'm gonna go to the other side. Okay, so I'm pinching here. So what is this doing? It's making my smile not go down as much, right? This tends to happen when we get older. So I'm trying to work on this gel area, that line, that break that happens there. I'm 21 and lost 30 cans, which left me saggy breasts and I can't afford breast lifts. What can I do? Lift weights, do some chest compressions, do a lot of push-ups. All of that stuff, all of that stuff will help the muscle of the chest to lift the breasts up. Do you like self-tanning mousses in between Retin-A treatments, hydroquinone? Um, I never do self-tanners on my face. I do way too much stuff on my face in order for a self-tanner to even make sense for me. Before I, if I'm gonna wear a short skirt or I'm gonna wear like a um, something that, a bathing suit or something, I'll do self-tanners for sure. Cause self-tanners, will make a difference in the appearance of cellulite. And it just makes you feel, it, it just makes you feel more confident when you've got like, you know, slightly tan skin. There's some, something that equates that with health. Now, not, not health when you're actually laying out in the, in the sun, but we've kind of got that in our heads that that equates with health. And so for me, a self tanner kind of helps to diminish any imperfections and helps my thighs to look a little slimmer and cellulite not to be as noticeable. But on my face, no. It'd be off in one day with, with the retinoids. Okay, so let me show you where else I do it. So, you've got like these nasal labia fold. So you could, I like to kind of get that chin like that and hold it, right? Because 
if you guys get any of these like little dimples in your chin, I kind of like to make sure that I get this on, on, I do a little bit of work on my chin and I'll show you, this is the press and hold technique, right? So this is what you'll get with these other kind of two lobe systems. It works on a press and hold technique. But now I wanna show you an erase mode where you pull the things apart. So I'm gonna erase mode level two. So around the mouth, when we get like these little lines, you can actually take these and pull them apart and it will soften that way. The only way to get this erase mode when you're talking about microcurrent is when you have two different probes. There's no way to do it with this. There's no way to do it with MedCube, right? This, these are only press and hold te techniques. These are only press and hold, which are still great, but if you're somebody who doesn't use Botox and you want to work on your 11s, the only way to work on your 11s is with an erase mode where you're pulling and softening. What do you think is the biggest nonsense concerning skincare? What do you think is the biggest nonsense concerning skincare? Um, oh, that's actually, that's a really good question. I was like, what does she mean? But I kind of get what you mean. Um, I, I think the over moisturizing, and that's something I learned from Dr. Obaji. So right now, you guys, I'm softening the 11s. And I can do that now because I don't have my Botox is worn out. I'm getting Botox again on Wednesday. So you can use this. If you're not a Botox person, you can use this to soften those 11s. And it does work. You repeat the movement, you know, three times. You hold for like four or five seconds here. You can also do around the eyes. So if you've got crow's feet and you're not a Botox person, now I depend on Botox for that. So I wouldn't normally use this here because it doesn't make sense for me to add the Botox to the side of my eye here, to my crow's feet, and then stimulate the muscle. It's gonna make it not last as long, but because I'm at that point right now where I, I'm in need of Botox, I wanna show you guys, because this is not just about like, this channel is not just about what can you do in office. There's a lot of at-home stuff, a lot of nutrition stuff, um, a lot of just general healthy aging. So not everybody on this channel is going out and getting Botox. There are alternatives that will soften those lines, and this is one of them. So again, you just separate. I'm on the erase mode, and you can only do it with this. Uh, we use microneedling while having Botox and filler. You can do microneedling while having Botox and filler. It doesn't affect it at all because it doesn't get that deep, but you do want to wait about two weeks. And the reason why I say wait about two weeks is you don't want to compound healing, right? So if you're getting Botox and filler, the needle itself going in, is going to stimulate collagen because it's a trauma. It's a little micro trauma. You're stimulating collagen there. So do you want to come back over the top and do microneedling over the top where then you're, you're getting like this excess of, of areas that need to heal? I don't do that. I, I want my body to efficiently heal with what it's doing, which is why my protocol is I've been following it for years because the way that I have my skincare designed and on the protocol, you guys, you, you want the ultimate skincare guide, which tells you the ingredients of what you want. But what this does, let me just give you an example for microcurrent. So let's say it's microcurrent. I know that I microcurrent for about 30 minutes in the morning, right afterwards, I'm going to put in on a moisturizer and a sunscreen. And then at night, I'm going to do a retinoid, niacinamide and a moisturizer. So it kind of gives you all of that. But on the days that you do microneedling, you don't want to put anything else on your face, right? So it'll give you post-treatment, hyaluronic acid and mineral, mineral water, um, AM. So if I'm going to do this at night in, in the next morning, or if I'm going to do this at night, uh, you still want to have that in the morning. But after you do this treatment, you're just, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to add hyaluronic acid and some mineral water and let that heal, let it heal. I had somebody that ordered the Dr. Pen M8 and did their face, their neck, their chest, their abdomen, their arms, the top of their legs, and then sent me a picture and said, I did all of this. What do you think? I'm in so much pain. And I thought like, what? Mm, don't do all of that at once. Don't do all of it at once because how many parts of your body can be called on to produce collagen? You're not gonna get as great of a result, which is why every Sunday I'll microneedle only certain parts of my body once on my face, then my face will come back around in four to six weeks, right? 
my knees. My knees will come back around four to six weeks. Can you microneedle on sagging breasts? You do not want to microneedle over breast tissue. I'm not sure why the manufacturer says that because it won't go as deep, but that's what they say. Don't microneedle over breast tissue. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more of this. If you guys have not invited your three people, make, make sure that you invite your three people. And when I post this to my main feed, Make sure that you, um, I'm going to do this on, not a race mode, I'm going to do this on educate mode. Make sure that you tag three more people and then just, you know, do all of the respond, 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 uh, capture, do all of that stuff because it will increase your chances of winning these little eye masks here. So the winner from last week, I already announced was ESIMS55. I will send you that exfoliating mitt and the Perfect Derma Skin Lotion. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm announcing the winner for these Skin V UV protection clothing. So I'll have one winner on my main feed and one winner in my subscription club. So yay, that's a big one. I really like that one. Okay, so what am I doing now? Let's see. Oh, I know what I wanna do. Okay, so again, remember that this also works for lymphatic drainage. So not only is it is it adding like small amounts of electricity into your skin, stimulating the production of ATP, stimulating a slight production of collagen and elastin, but it's also, you're pushing the fluid out, right? So I love this around the eyes because not only is it lymphatically draining, but it's stimulating and just kind of adding a little bit of electricity in there, which is, which, you know, our ATP, our, our energy of our cells decreases as we age. So by adding a little electricity in there, so I like this for here. I do this around my jowls to lift the jowls. I also do this on my neck. We might go a little bit over, but you know what? I need to at least get a treatment in, guys. <laughs> what device is for glutes? Somebody just said, what device is for glutes? What device for glutes for cellulite? Um, honestly, foam rolling. Foam rolling is the cheapest thing that I have found and one of the most effective for cellulite on the bum. Get a foam roller. They're like, what, $10 on Amazon? Uh, you're welcome. I don't know which question that was, but I'm glad I answered it. Um, foam rolling really helps on the bum. And the way I discovered that is, I mean, it makes sense if you think about that those connective tissues. It makes sense. Is this making your skin red? Um, my neck right now, if you guys are thinking that my neck is red, this is a reaction to a sunscreen that I happen to have in the car on the way to the wedding last night. I mean, yesterday I was in that car for five and a half hours and it um, just, I was in the sun and I had on my gloves and I had on my wrap, but I could still feel, I didn't have on one of these, which I should have, and I could still feel the sun coming through even my barrier. So I had a sunscreen in the glove compartment and I put it on and I should not because remember when we travel, we need to be very careful about suns, about our skincare because you're already dealing with, with environmental changes. So you want to, and I, I just thought, you know, I'd rather have it be a little irritated and have my skin protected. And I don't know if that was the right move. So right now I'm lifting this skin up, right? I'm doing three passes, stay away from your esophagus. Um, because it, you do not want this over your thyroid. Thyroid's right here. But you can lift this neck up. Look, you can already tell a difference in which side looks better. So you can lift this neck up. So I go right underneath my, my jaw. And you want to do it two or three times. So you can also lift this part up, right? I want to make sure I have conductivity here. You can also lift this up so it will define your jaw a little bit better. And lift this kind of jowly area. All right. So I like to use it here for lifting. I like to use it here to also smooth this out and lift. And then this is my last and favorite spot to do this. I might have to finish my treatment by myself. I put this right on my eyebrow. I stay on that occipital bone. My occipital bone's right here. Make sure I've got enough 
hyaluronic acid in here. My eyebrows are gonna look crazy after this, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it is probably making my skin a little bit red, but that, that'll go away in a second. Like, honestly, once I get off here, I'll rinse this uh, conductive gel off and it'll go away. Um, I naturally run a little bit pink anyways. My skin normally like a little bit pink. Oh, see, I can feel a little tingle, tingle, tingle. So this helps with the crepey eyelid, you guys. It lifts that crepey eyelid. Let's see if I can do one on one side and then I can kind of show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see because I am... I am very consistent with this. Does microcurrent help with eye bags and puffiness? It does because it lymphatically drains. So there's a lot of benefits to it. So it lifts and tones your face. So it, re, it kind of just really carves out your face. And a lot of that is through lymphatic drainage because you're literally, you know, pushing the fluid. So you're moving, anytime you're moving that fluid and you're energizing that area, you're, it will depuff. That's why you can kind of carve out... And look, you guys can see, I don't know if you can see this, but this part of my face is already more lifted than this part. Do you guys see that? The good thing about microcurrent is it's instant yet accumulative. So you will see a little bit of a result right away, but then it's cumulative, not accumulative, it's cumulative when used consistently. So you can use this every day, I don't use it every day because I have much bigger guns that I want to like get in there. But I started with this every day. And then once my skin, I realized what, okay, I know what I'm doing. Now it's my weekly. It's in my weekly. But let me see if you can see the difference between one side or another. And then we'll get off of here. This will be a good way to end the video. Okay. Do you guys notice that or is it just me? I kind of feel like I need to do a little bit more work here. But this eye looks a little lifted to me. And again, I didn't give myself a full treatment, but this side looks like it needs a little bit of a treatment. Okay, so that's it. Now you get it. Okay, so make sure you invite your three people before we get off of here. And once this posts to my main feed, tag your three people. You'll be in the drawing for the eye, for the eye patches. And tomorrow I will be microneedling my eyes. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna stay on that occipital bone, but I'm gonna get a good treatment in. Yep, there's a difference, right? You can kind of see the difference. And I'm in a ring light, so it's not like, but you can tell this one is a little bit more lifted. So that's the thing with microcurrent. You can tell a difference. It will go away in a couple of hours, but you're still, you've done something here. So cumulative, you're gonna get you're gonna get good results. So again, my favorites. This is my favorite, especially for the body. I love this. You can really feel this working. I'm gonna give you guys one more like little little thing that shows you like this. This is the real deal. This is this is the real deal. Cause look, right? You guys see that? Kind of feel like I need it on. Um, yeah, you're toning your muscles. It's just like going to the gym, but for your face just like going to the gym for your face. And now you can understand why if you have Botox, you don't use this on areas where you have Botox, okay? So, it, but if you're somebody who doesn't and doesn't wanna have Botox, you'll wanna get this machine because it's the only one that has a two probe system where you can lengthen out the areas that would normally be paralyzed from Botox. Okay, you guys, have a great day rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow at 11 where we will be microneedling my, my eyes. So have a great day. All right. Bye.